Yo, psycho. I didn't know if I was on live yet. Hey, Downey. Good to see you, man. Hit me up, bro. I'd like to talk to you. Uh, hit me on my Gmail, dude. I want to talk to you. Hey, Dana. Do it. Chargers crazy. Hawks fan. Good to see you guys all in here. John, good afternoon to you, sir. Chargers crazy. Oh, yeah, 45 minutes, eh, from you? Yeah, it's nice up here. Thanks, Sean Duffy. Good to see you. The Observer back, yo. Nick McMinn. Wow. Nice to see you. Yo, yo, not me. Sup, Rain Man back. Mario C. Oklahoma Community Watch. Right on. What up, big dog? Downey, yeah. Uh, hit me up on my Gmail, dude, uh, and then I can share my number with you. I want to do it on here. Bruce from Down Under, good to see you. Thank you, Hawks fan. Lori Croft. Yeah, it's very nice. I've been here before, Lori. Then Blue Line Slayer, NNC, what's up? We're going to find out soon. Nick Wood. Yo, yo, Delaware is nice. Thanks, Downey. What up, Big Phil Fur? All right, guys. So I am in Jackson. We'll check it out. I don't know how much time we're going to have, but uh, we're, there's a big, uh, big facility here. Cops and sheriffs. This is like where I'm just right now. Sci so fi. Hey, dude, thanks for. I never thank you on there for that uh, $5 dono, dude. I was trying to get your number. I don't know. I lost it. Text me uh, again, bro. Thank you for that super chat, Sci fi. I didn't get back to you. How are you doing? That's a big size knife, man. Yeah. What do you do? Skin the animals? Yeah. Right on. Right on. Where'd you learn that? Um, my family. Family, right on. So you mind? I, I'm just traveling. I've never seen something. Would you like to share it? Sure. Right on. What is it? Tell me about it. Um, just a Bowie knife. It's a Bowie knife, huh? Yeah. So uh, you know all types of uh, how to skin what? Everything, huh? Kind of. What's the biggest animal you've done here? Probably an elk. An elk. Now, can you eat moose? Yeah. You've had it? Like, I haven't had it, but... I you think, can eat it? Like, what's it's your it's favorite? Probably elk. Elk, all right. Yeah, elk's pretty you, good. You stay good, man. Don't you kill anybody good. with that thing. <laughs> Late. All right, well, he's not going to kill anybody with that thing. That was a big knife. That was a big knife that guy had. And you know me. I'll chat with anybody as long as they don't try to take a swing over my head. Then i got to block them with a the elbow or something. Here's the Antler Motel. They got one antler up there, but they call it the antler. That makes sense. One antler. Right on, Frank. Good to see you, Lori. Yeah, Michael Malloy, Des Reed. Right on, Big Wayne, Wayne Bundles. What's up? Yeah, it's cold out here, Charger. Dude, last night it's like freezing, and we're all decked out, and we still froze our asses off. So I just went to uh, the sporting good place and bought one of these uh i don't know what it's called it's pretty good it's like a seven foot by seven foot uh combination i didn't want to go with down because down doesn't hold up in water but it's lighter and we have a bunch of down but this one's a mixture and it's supposed to be better for uh weather so hey worse comes to worse you know rei you buy it and you return it if you don't like it it used to be a lifetime membership but now it's one year so we're all good hey brother do you happen to know where the police is in this town police station no clue it's cool it's all good man yeah thanks buddy so hey lion one good 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 to see you angel so where are the cops the cop station's got to be around here i see it's in the courthouse hang on we'll find somebody that knows something guys i have no idea there you can see the snow the Tetons are over that way, and it is cold. I've been, uh, I've been eating a lot of chicken. Chicken out here is pricey compared to uh, California. Cali, I'm picking up shit like 99 cents a pound. Out here, it's like the same stuff. It's like three bucks. But 
that's okay. You got to eat. I just complain. All right, Innocent. Good to see you. Nightcrawler. Not me. HPR. Good to see you in here, brother. All right. Let's see who else we got. I missed the observer. Angel, like, hey, Lion. All right. For getting a few in here. 110. What do we got? 110 and viewing and, uh, and only 47 thumbs up. You guys, please, you know, it's bad enough, YouTube prison. Just dip out, dip back in. You can thumb it. You can dip out, dip back in, and thumb it as many times as you want. And that really helps. If you want to support me, that's, that's really the best way. Just thumbs up and make comments. You know, whatever the comment is, go to hell. I don't like you. I don't care. Comments help. So this is the center for the art studio. Thanks, Lion One. Yep, yep, yep. You can throw down that PayPal too if anybody feels like they'd like to have me sleep in a dumpster. Throw it down. No, it's all good. I'm camping. Uh, thing about where we're camping is, you know, nobody respects anybody. It's just constant noise, you know? At least I'm not in an area where there's generators. That's the main thing. All right, so this town is pricey as fuck. I don't know what the minimum to buy in here, but I'm guessing anything in this town is a mill, pretty much. This looks newer, Spring Hill Suites, Marriott. These are one, these are springing up. I think these are these like boutique hotels that they give you the wet bar, but then they don't give you the, uh, you know, they don't give you the free breakfast. So if you like to drink, you can spend more money on booze. And if you don't, you get fucked out of your free breakfast. Hey, do you, excuse me, do you gals happen to know where the uh, police station is? Just go straight. Yeah. Thank you kindly. Okay, she was real freaked out. I didn't want to put her on. At least she answered, you know. Let's hope these cops are pretty chill. I've been told they are, but you know, they've never met a pimp. They've never met a pimp in town. I've been looking for some pimp clothes too, and I haven't been able to find any thrift shops. If you guys want to help me out, send me a pimp hat, a cheetah pimp hat, a cheetah cape, and a cane. I'll supply my all the jewelry and a big mug to drink out of. I'll put it on my, uh, on my holder, so I'll have like a pimp glass too. I'll have a pimp glass. Yeah, there's some thrift shops here. It's Sunday, it's closed. I'll find one. I'll find one. I'll find that stuff. Unless anybody's got some extras that they don't want, throw them my way, but I'm not counting on that. All right, Pearl Street. That's an old name for uh, ladies, I think, in the 18, 19, early 1900s, Pearl. You don't meet a lot of women named Pearl. Like, guys, in my day... If, you know, in the 70s, you go into like a bar to drink and uh, you go up to somebody that's named Pearl or Agnes or Mathilda, and basically, you know, you're gonna get a great conversation about grandmothers. Oh, that's wrong. That was a bad thing to say and it's not true. Ninja's in here. What's up, Ninja? Man, Ninja showed me a Cobb salad he ate for 12 bucks, and it had all these accoutrements on it. Uh, it was, it looked good, man. It looked good. So, hang tight, everybody. We're going to the fuzz. It's a big thing. There's the cops. I think it's the police, the jail, the sheriffs, whatever. It's just not one thing. Matt, good to see you, dude. Right on. Ash, man, what's happening, Ash? Long time. Here we go. Wow, somebody threw down. Let me check. I don't know. 
All right, I'm sorry, I'm not catching it. Somebody threw down a $10 dono. I appreciate it. I'll get back when I look. Who, who threw that down? Wolverine's in the house. Frankie, Randall, good to see you. Thank you guys for helping me out any way you can. Pearl Street. Where's Cash? Where's Pearl? Where's Pearl? Well, there's Pearl there, so this must be Pearl up here. All right, guys, we're going up here. Jackson Hole, Wyoming, to the jail. And the police, uh, I think there's a couple other buildings. I'm just trying to do this before, you know, it starts raining on me. It snowed last night a little bit, not too bad. And it gets dark here, real dark, maybe, I don't know, 1030. It's, it's still light, man, about like 930. Blew my mind. Appreciate the thumbs up. Appreciate the comments. Appreciate everything. Appreciate lying the PayPal. You guys are good. We'll probably be meeting up in a bit. Check this out. Here we go. Here we go. So let's see where the cops are. Real estate is just off the charts here, guys. Oh, is it line one? Yeah. See out of Jackson Hole. One hour he spills the yeah. Can you guys see me and hear me? Can you guys see me and hear me? Okay, you guys can see me and hear me. All right, here we go, guys. Sorry, my phone's acting up. So, let's take a look at this, what this resembles before I go in. And uh, wish me luck, guys. You never know what's gonna happen. You never know what's going to happen with people. There's a payment drop box. Anthony, good to see you, Todd. Right on. Oh, you know what's going to happen? The city hall isn't going to be open, but the cops got to be open. All right, the cops got to be open, so City Hall's not open because it's a Sunday. Let's cruise through here, right? That's where we're going to cruise through. And three through Clock Tower. So the police department is through here, it says. How do you get into the police department? So enter here. So the police department is, you can't enter on a Sunday, apparently. Let's check this out. Let us check this out. Okay, check this out. Monday, please. Oh, so you got to call the Teton County Dispatch Office to the south side of this for service to the south side. All right, we're going to cruise around, guys, and see what kind of, uh, what kind of issues they're going to give me. I don't even know south side. It's this way, I think. Let's just hope that uh, I can... I can make a, uh, a complaint over here. Let's see what we got going here. That's what I'm saying. What are you guys saying? Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, Teton Jail and Dispatch Center is here. See, Jail and Dispatch Center. Oh, you were here 15 months ago, Mike, eh? So I don't know, this is all roped off. So this is all roped off for caution, a caution. So this is their jail. Okay, this is the jail right here, guys. They, are they arresting pimps? I don't think so. And what's interesting is, I have yet to see a camera right here. There's no cameras here, guys. Check it out. There are no cameras here. There are no cameras here. 
Except what? No, they wouldn't have them here. Wow. Look, look at this building. Here's the town hall. Okay, they got one at that corner. There's one camera, boom, there for the parking lot. And they're gonna see me under here. And is there another one on their corner? Negative. So this is the jail. All right. Well, the jail's not gonna be open. I don't think. Oh, it is. Okay. Uh, oh, I can't. It's locked, so here we go. Oh. It's, it's not closed. Administration is in the... Uh, Okay, this is the Teton County Sheriff's Detention Center and Dispatch Center. They're in this building. If I have Detention Center or Dispatch Center business or need to contact an officer, please use the phone to my left for assistance. The Teton County Sheriff's Office and admin patrol and investigations are across the parking lot in the basement of the courthouse. Fingerprints are done. Okay. Uh, let's see when I can get a complaint for him. Yes, sir, is it possible I could get a, a complaint form or do I have to come back only on a, a, a Monday through Friday? Well, I did, do you have different complaint forms? Okay, what, what are my options? Uh, it's for the uh, police department or the sheriff's department. Uh, well, you handle the sheriff's, correct? Uh, the dispatch handles both. Okay, can I get one for each department? Uh, you would have to talk to both departments for that. Okay, thank you for that. What can you help me with then? That would be perfect. I'm right here. Okay. Thanks so much. Yep. You have a good one. Okay, so he's calling two different departments to meet me for a complaint form. Let's see how this goes down, right? Yep, 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 yep. We are going to... Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen. They're they're going to they're not going to have it, but we're going to see. They can at least tell me because I'm, you know, I, I know what I'm talking about. So, I don't expect them to give it. They're going to give instructions and which is cool. I'm going in mellow and they're going to come mellow, I'm sure. There's no reason for any antagonist to care. I want to see their procedures. But we want to find out if they require uh, IDs. Right here, there's Teton County. Right here, he's a sheriff. He's in his car right here. So it might get, uh, tonight it's gonna get real cold. Oh. Am I hearing it snow? Okay. Let's see if they're going to bring me anybody when there's right one guy right here. He's taken off. He wants no part. That's funny. That's funny. Right, guys? They're going to help me. And the guy takes off. And he's going to take off. He's dispatch. So they're gonna call one of each. What time is it, guys? It's, uh, I don't know. Somebody keep track for me. I don't have a watch on, okay, guys? We'll, uh, this town shouldn't be that big of a deal to come and help a citizen. So we'll give it 15 minutes. Guys, give me a shout out in 15 minutes from now, okay? I appreciate it. Then we'll see what happens. In the meantime, we're hanging. We are hanging here at the sheriff's 
and maybe they're not gonna come. That's probably what I'm thinking now when you got a sheriff right there that works there and he wouldn't take the time. One of each, he's giving me dispatch. Wait, did he say I had to call dispatch or he said he was taking care of it, right? Isn't that what he said, right? That's what I think he said. Isn't that what he said, guys? He was gonna get dispatched? Or he was dispatched, yeah. Hey, Ronnie, good to see you, man. Yeah, he was. We'll see if the cops come. I don't know. I don't know. All right, guys. Well, we're hanging in there. Innocent, I'm glad I'm done with Utah. Dirty, dirty, dirty. I don't even know how you live there. Okay, is this a cop? No, no. I'm looking for these uh, white cars. You don't see a lot of SUVs here for the cops. They're all, uh, oh, there's a couple. Yeah, I passed a few. It's a mixture. It's a mixture. Hey, I want to get a complaint and uh, Let's see. You can get me somebody. Maybe he's going to come in that other way, you know? They may come in that way. So maybe I shouldn't wait out here. Comes the back door, right? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, this place is uh, better than dealing with dirty, uh, corrupt city people and cops in American Forks. Uh, Utah and in Heber City, just corrupt this F. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, guys, so you think they're going to show on a Sunday? I'm going to you tell me when the time's up because then I'm going to flag a cop down. I'm going to flag a cop down is what I'm going to do. Here's the police, and then we had the sheriff. So the police are here. Admin is in their building. Sheriff's pull in this way, I guess, huh? Okay. So let's hightail it over here. Let me ask this guy, there was a sh uh, Yes, Deputy, I think, Raffleton? Raffleson, thank you. Were you the one helping me? Okay, I appreciate the help. So I, I guess you can't give me kind of a idea. Would it be like a half hour, hour? Because there was just a sheriff's here in the parking lot for about five minutes and he took off. So I don't know. What do you think? How long? Can I ask what we're complaining about? Well, I don't want to disclose that. Is Do I have to by law? No, well, you're going to have to eventually when you do it on the floor. Yeah, yeah, I will. I don't want it to be vetted though. See, sometimes when you tell somebody ahead of time, it never goes anywhere, so, yeah. Okay, all right, well, uh, there's a sergeant from the SO and from the PD on their way over to meet you. Do you want to sit in the lobby? Yeah, I'm, I'm right here. I'll wait in the parking lot for him. Okay, you can wait in the lobby too if you like. Oh, okay, thanks for the help. I appreciate it very much. Bye-bye. Very helpful, so, so far, so good. They're on their way. Huh? They're on their way. Wait, and your name? Steve. Re Steve? Steve Ryan. Steve Ryan. Appreciate it, Steve. My name's Phil. Cool, Phil. Cool. All right. Take care, man. Be safe. Thank you. Right on. Well, I'll wait here. Right on. Or actually, I'll wait outside. I'd rather wait outside. It's hot in here. And he was he was decent. 
right? We got two cops coming. So that went all right so far. I explained the process. Okay, all right. You guys got me now? All right, I'm not going in there. So what happened was a, 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 a sheriff let me in. Sorry, guys, it went dead. So sir, that's why I'm coming back out. If it went dead, we're going to wait for the cops here. I went in. They buzzed me in. I don't know what happened. Do you guys see me go in and, and pick up the phone and talk to the dispatch again? Because that's what I did, and he was cool. Except he wanted to know what the complaint was for, which I told him I did. Did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear anything? What was going on? Nothing, huh? You guys didn't hear anything that was going down in there? If you guys didn't hear what went down in the sheriff's department, give me a one if you didn't hear. Oh, you heard that part? Cool. Audio was going, I guess. Some people say, all right, well, I'll just tell you what happened. I went in there to call again the dispatch to see if he's got an ETA. And he just asked me to her on the way. He wanted to know what I'm making a complaint for him. I told him I didn't really want to vet it. Uh, you know, it vetted can disappear, you know. So he says, you're going to have to say on the report. I said, I get it. So he was helpful. He, they're all helpful so far. The guy that the sheriff that I, I asked his name, he told me he didn't go uh, Deputy Ryan. He said, Steve, you know, so right there. I mean, you know, it's not like I like him, but it's just a little more non militaristic non I'm in control first name you know it's good I gave him my name you know because I don't give yeah but that doesn't mean anything trust me I know none of these guys like me it's just how you engage and how you have to talk to them wow dude you're too good Conejo yeah gallon of gas out here it's cheaper than uh, to and cali man i appreciate that conejo it helps bro shit firewood here they sold me all wet firewood how you doing how sir? you doing oh here we go two officers film make sure your body cams are three no 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 only two are you here to meet me you guys are here to meet me yeah i understand that you want to make a complaint i want it this is why I'm out here. I travel around the country going to different LEO facilities. Okay. I'm not here. I know the law. I'm not here to get hemmed up. And I appreciate you guys coming out. So what I want to know, and uh, Steve Rain uh, from the Sheriff's Department in there let me in. He told me he was very nice. So what I want to find out from you guys of the process here of a public records request, number one, and I also wanted to get the idea of the complaint form. So can you tell me the process of the public records request here? So as far as public records requests, like if you're um, requesting like a report or what's it called? And there'll be no need for status. Um, so if you want to get a report or a CFS note, which is just like a call log, which will have like dispatcher notes and also our notes too, should we decide to like add in some notes, Sure. Uh, you can contact our information clerk. Okay. They work Monday through Friday okay. from uh, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay. Okay. Um, and then uh, you could, whatever information that you have of it, like a report number, maybe a uh, or if you don't have a report number, you just like give some insight, like uh, on this date and time. If I went in there and first, uh, who, who, who am I speaking with? Oh, my name is Jason. Jason, nice yeah. to meet you. And this is uh, my partner, Chelsea. 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 Okay, appreciate it. Chelsea Holcomb and Jason what? Figueroa. Figueroa. All right. Figueroa, so sorry. far, so Jason good. Yeah. So basically, I go over there to do it. I would say, hey, I would like the body cam footage for this date at this time. Body cam footage. That's going to be iffy. Um, that has to go run through my lieutenant because uh, what we record, obviously if it's for call for service and all that, we can't just, it's not just freely available for the public because depending on the call, it could be during an, uh, an open investigation. Sure. So not everyone is really privy to it. But it has to run through my lieutenant just to ensure that whether or not... It could, right, it right. Be, you, I understand yeah. the MO that if something's under investigation, they can't release body cam footage. However, if body cam footage has already, number one, been on the internet, somebody came in to do the same thing, then it shouldn't be a problem. But So what you're saying is, 
If I go in there and request body cam footage, they're going, no matter what, they won't look into it. They immediately refer it to your lieutenant. Mm -hmm. Okay, for yeah. any request of body cam footage, no matter what, they request a lieutenant. Yeah, because okay. our lieutenant needs that final approval. Okay, okay, finish. okay, yeah. okay. I'm just getting the system. And there, there's one lieutenant? Yeah, we have one lieutenant. And here. what would his name be? Russ Russell. Russ Russell? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Now, as far as a complaint form here, okay, okay uh, the, do you have these in your lobby? We do have a written statement form. A written statement form. Where you can fill it out depending on how many copies you need. Okay, um, okay. It will have like the fill in the blank, like name. Right, stuff. right, right, right. And then you, in your own words, you write a statement of what is it that you wish. Right, to right, right, right. Okay, and is that statement also like on the internet that people can go on to uh it's we do have a email form okay where, uh you can send an email on their website on your website yeah okay website. okay um it, it'll go directly to our chief okay okay we'll review it and then she would if there is something that is lodged as a complaint hopefully what we're sending it will be like a contact information right right wish. right right um, but to come in here, uh -huh. to go, let me ask you, let's go back there. Okay. For a public records request form, you're knowledgeable. I don't know. I'll just ask you if you don't know the answer. Okay. So do they require, are they requiring to show identification to get a... Uh, that I'm not sure. Um, okay, that's that, a fair yeah. answer because I'll tell you what. I traveled across the country and many departments are asking for some form of ID. Okay which is uh, an illegal violation of a person's rights. They can have a policy that they want to do it, but so you don't know. That's why I was just yeah. checking. It's all good. Are you saying asking someone's ID is a violation? Or? If they want me, what I'm saying is if they require me to show my identification okay. to do a public records request, that's a violation. Okay. It's a policy they have but they can't require it just like if if they have a form and they want me to fill out the form by law by my right i can require them to fill it out okay. for me it's as a listen you guys you, you work for the public you know and and people got to understand that and that's why you guys seem very transparent so far i'm not in trouble no, you know no, you're not. you know i'm a, I, you're cordial i'm cordial i'm asking all the right questions you're honest and, I, and honestly i appreciate that because not everyone that i come across with are usually cordial out Sometimes here it could be like, everywhere where are you everywhere. from uh originally yeah uh i'm from new jersey okay well there you baltimore before coming over here new jersey so here. I've been here the longest how about you chelsea I'm from here, born and raised. All right, there you go. Yeah, well, you know, it's nice. I'm just traveling through. I'm camping up here, froze my behind. So uh, okay. I, I, at the same time, I'm down here, and I wanted to do a meet and greet, and okay. you guys are good representation so far. You got a business card? I have a business card on. How about you, Chelsea? Uh, currently, I'm in training, so I don't have one. You're in training? Yeah, so okay. She'll, okay. She will get one. Okay. But yours You're in training. Card. Hey. Here you go. Right on, Jason. So, uh, oh, detective, but... Was. What you like it better this one? It's a transition. It's like one of those transitional rotational. Uh, so you higher up and they lower you and you go around. Oh, no, the, for detectives and officers, they're on the same rank. Oh, they are. So they're not like there's not like a level above. Same pay. It's same pay. Just the name. Just the name. I got a business card that shows my name and I'm a tall person. Oh yeah. Yeah, and it's not really truthful though, right? Looking it's at me. All, in today's time, it all depends on how that's, people want to identify that's, themselves. That's, that's right? my bad humor. You know there's uh, all of this stuff right now that's going on. You know there's a new gender. I'm from California. Don't tell people. I normally tell them I'm oh, yeah. Canadian. Yeah. Right? I don't want... There's a new gender out. It's called the cake gender. Have you heard of this I nonsense? Of yeah, it means you're warm, fluffy, and... Uh, flaky in the inside. So. Sounds like my dating profile. Really? Put, uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Dating profile. Yeah, well, you know, just don't date any serial killers and we're good. God, it's oh, kind of man. hard to tell. Chelsea, you're who. tough. I can tell. You're a tough one. What makes I you smile? Huh? What makes you smile? Oh, the mountains. The yeah, mountains. Okay. All right. Yeah. You guys did well. I appreciate um, it. I know someone from the SO is on their way. Are you gonna yeah, I'm going to hang for him, too, right. man. You guys do awesome. good. So what's the, what's the crime up here? Just drugs, break-ins? What is it? We do have some drugs. Mostly this being a tourist town, we do deal with a lot of drunks. Um, okay. A domestic. So, and what's the low end for homes here, Emil? How do how do you guys? You can't afford to live here, right? It's hard. Um, 
the town does have uh, some property that they own and they subsidize our rents. You okay. Know, you know, to make it available. I heard us. that about Target. Yeah. Yeah, a lot yeah. of that. That's in these type of communities, so. But the majority of our officers, you know, they, you know, they decide to live somewhere outside of the jurisdiction where the property is a little bit cheaper. Like where? Um, Lincoln County, Selva County. What's that, an I hour? Know, give or take, depending on like how far. That's where are. you are? No, no, I'm here in town. Oh, you're a you're you're a high roller. It's, it's limited luck, right here. And, right and Chelsea's lucky because got family here. <laughs> there, there you go. All right, guys. I'm just wandering around, so me no trouble. Sunday's a bad day for any type of. I'm I'm gonna wait for the guy. Okay. I you know there I don't know if he's gonna show. Hopefully he's coming from Hoback. How, where's that? That's uh, about south of here. That's. Give or take, you're talking about maybe 20 minutes. Okay, I've been here waiting 20 at least. Yeah. There was one in there that he took off. Oh, this might be oh, him. That might be him. He right on, right on. Three. Hey, you guys stay, take care. All right. Your good representation for uh, well, Jackson Hole. Yeah, it's okay. all good. So at least I'm going live right, right now. You got 153 people watching you. Any here. hearts? Huh? Any hearts? Oh, yeah, they got hearts. All right. They got hearts. They awesome. said you guys are all right. You know, because I deal with a lot of bad cops, man. I've been arrested three times for filming on a sidewalk okay. every time. Cops don't know the law. That's the problem. You, you you know, you learn as you go. We do our best. You do your best. We do our best. Here we go. That's our uh, officer. There we go. Yes, All right, before we get started, let's arm wrestle. <laughs> no? No. You're a scary dude. Nice to meet you. Nice so to you're, meet you. I'm hey, Sergeant Lewis. I appreciate it. You guys can hang around if you want. All Sergeant right. Lewis, right on. So, you good, sir? Yeah. We're yeah, good. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I'm here. Yeah, for kind of just reason. finding out the uh, 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 procedure on uh, officer complaints. Okay. And I wanted to find out, I was talking to the officer, uh, uh, was it Steve Rines? Steve? Rines? Yes. Yeah, yeah. He, yep. he, yeah, yeah. Uh, he told me you guys were on the way. He didn't, I told him what I was trying to find out, but he didn't want to get involved too much, which okay. is cool. Yeah. So the process is for a complaint here. You don't have them in the lobby. You don't have... Uh, the complaint forms in the lobby, which a lot of people are intimidated by the cops. They don't want to come in and so. And I, you probably have it on the internet, right? A website or something? Do you know? Uh, I'm not familiar with us having a uh, on the website. No. Typically, how we go about complaints um, is if a person wants to call, right, they can request to speak to a supervisor. So whether that person wants to identify themselves or remain anonymous. They can call, they can explain, you know, their issues that they're, they're having, either with a particular deputy or a particular instance. Yes, sir. And then the supervisor, uh, you know, investigates that just like anything else. Right. You know. Okay. Um, they, do they, can you come in and just ask for the form and leave? So uh, we don't have a specific form. What I would do with that, uh, we have witness statements for the sheriff's office. I see. So I would provide that witness statement. Okay. Uh, it has uh, identifying information like your name and phone number if you want follow up or if you want to remain anonymous. You can write anonymous. You could write that report or, you know. Leave like, some form of contact. Yeah, leave some form of contact right, if right, you want right. follow up. Right. Or okay. I'm with you. Um, you could write your grievance and then you could. If you don't want to talk to law enforcement, you could just turn it into uh, our front desk and everything like that, and then it will get routed. For, okay, cool. For what it's worth, because I do these all over. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you'll make the suggestion, but maybe, and, and I've run into different agencies. They don't have a standard officer complaint form. You know, they call it a witness like you guys. Yeah. But at the, at the very minimum, Maybe get them in the lobby. Yeah. Because, let me tell you why. Because Please. I don't have to take the time of a public official this and then, like, talking to you yeah. about it, why you can't have it. It just saves time. And you guys got enough going on worrying about a form. Yeah. You know, that's you know what? It. Uh, it's a good idea, man. I, I will bring up that suggestion at our next supervisor meeting. I appreciate um, it. You know, see if we can kind of... I don't want to say streamline, but facilitate it Something. easier to the public. Well, um, that, and then I understand people have concerns. Well, with yeah. So, for instance, officers. so I don't know if you know, uh, both uh, these uh, police came out well versed. Uh, I I just came from Utah, and two, okay. and two uh, 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 police departments. Uh, it's terrible. Have you heard of American Forks? I have not, no. Look it up, look it up. Okay. The sad thing is they're violating people's rights by requiring them 
to show identification for a public records request. Now that's illegal. They may have a policy to do it, but I do, just like you said, anonymous, see, you guys are on top of it. Now I wanna find out if your city hall is. Okay. for a public records request, right? Yeah. Because that's, I can't, can I get a public records from here? No, right? No. No. So the public re records would probably be coming from the city for the sheriff's department. And I want to see if they're going to require ID because I went to the city hall to complain about it. Okay. Because the city manager is the cop's boss. Yeah. Goes all the way up to the mayor. And just Google American Forks, dirty, dirty department, man. No okay. transparency. So you guys so far, you're showing transparency, which is good. That's what we want. You know, the yeah. bad cops are going to get you, you know, yeah. bad things. People don't like bad cops, right? That's your worst Fair enemy. Enough, yeah. That's your worst enemy. I agree. You know, so anyways, that's it, man. You you look pretty. Were you in military? I was, yeah. What were you? I was in the Army for right, a while. Man. I appreciate Are you born and raised here? No, I'm not. Where no. are you from? Originally from Colorado. Oh, well, this isn't much different. Is it gonna is it gonna snow tonight? You know, it might. Are you are you are you living in the city? Here? No, I don't live around. Yeah, here. who can afford it? I'm, they, he was telling me you got to drive like in Lincoln County and different counties. Yeah. 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 So, well, okay. Tough. Okay. Listen, yeah. I'll, I'll let you leave. I appreciate it. And I appreciate you taking that up, man. Yeah. Uh, with your higher ups. Yeah. And you, if you want to check me out, I, I've got a YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, I'm known as News Now California. Yeah, okay. don't don't send me hate mail. I'm too busy. I got What's other your first name? Do. What's your first name? Steve too or Sean? It's not Steve or Sean. All right, let me. It's, it's not uh, Sally. I know you're not a Sally or a Susan. What is New, it? News Now, California. California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can run my plates. I'm clean. I used to be a shot caller in Pelican Bay. You know the prison? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty tough. I was a leader of the Mexican Mafia, but they had a height requirement, so they kicked me <laughs> out of it. All right, dude. Awesome. Awesome. Then, you're the man. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't mind giving you it. Because right it's going to help you guys, too, at the same yeah. time. You know, it's all about being transparent. The public, listen, you, you're live right now. A lot of a lot of people like you. Anyways, yeah, my time in the joint, I tried to, I, I learned how to make pruno. You know pruno? You you put it on the wall, it's fruit. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You you don't know prison life? You know prison life, huh? Uh, I, I I've would, never heard the term pruno Okay, before. well, let, I'm going to leave, but I'll tell you, I was in for white-collar crime, fraud. I, uh. I was in the mortgage business and I ripped off a lot of people, but when I went into prison, I got a tad that said, born to raise your mortgage. So that's what happened there. All right. I, 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 so far, I think I'm on another planet here. Well, the weather's a bit... No, the way sunny. you're handling this stuff, man. Right on, right on. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Later. All right. Yeah, I know more about prison than him. What the hell? Yeah. You didn't appreciate my jokes. I don't give a fuck. Well, I'll tell you what. I got nothing bad to say. They were all respectful. You know, even came out. Gabby's Petito's Memorial. Here they go. Going to pick up some short people. All right, guys. Shelly G, right on. What'd you guys think of that interaction? I thought of external affairs. I love you too. Cop dog. Eric Johnson. David. Yeah, he thought I was for real. He 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 didn't know shit. I guess I could be the shortest. Pimp and shot collar. He didn't know how to make pruno. He didn't know anything about trading stamps for cigarettes. My God. I got a lot of prison experience. My cellmate used to call me Cuddly Poo. That's because I was a snuggler. We used to snug in the same bed until his beard chafed me a lot, so I had to change cells. I, didn't, I don't like sharing a bed in prison. And then I didn't realize I didn't have to. I thought that's, he told me we got to share our bed. And then one day I woke up really sore in my butt. And I said, this doesn't feel right. 
and everybody made fun of me and I had to kill a couple guys and I moved up the ranks to a shot caller. Yeah, I spooned. What are you gonna do? You spoon in prison. I used to sell shanks. I was a prison shanker. And I used to tattoo eyeballs black. I had 400 cell phones that the prison guards uh, smuggled in his anus and then I never washed them because I resold them. And uh, I figured they were worth more money with stink butt. How you get a cell phone up your butt? That is the million dollar question. It's not easy. I tried it. And the problem was it was one of those $10 throwaway phones because I'm not going to put an iPhone 12 or 13 up my butt. You know, those $10 cell phones hurt. They hurt. So if you're going to do it, just do it carefully. Use some, you know, coconut oil or have your cellmate spit in your ass and put it in there. I don't know. But anyways, it'll be lucky if this YouTube video continues with this kind of talk. All right, guys. Well, that went pretty good, I would say. Let's take a walk around here. It's a ski resort town, so I'm not, uh, I'm not expecting a lot of people to freak out with the camera, but they can. It's happened before when I've been in the resort towns. That's what's going to happen. And uh, I'm leaving here tomorrow and uh, going to be heading up to Montana. And so look for more live feeds. That's all I'm going to be doing on the road because I don't have time to edit. And uh, just stay with me. It's I don't know how many thousands of miles I'll be on the road. I'll be meeting up with quite a few different auditors. And, you know, that's the plan, guys. Just stick with me. I'm doing, uh, thanks man for that. I appreciate it, Ronnie. Let's, uh, let's walk down here. Let's walk down here a bit. And then cruise around and come back. Appreciate you guys staying with me. It's a nice town, pricey. Pricey, pricey can be. Time to buy real estate here was in the 70s. I don't even know what uh, commercial rents are here, but I'm sure it's expensive. I mean, you got 40, 50 million dollar homes around here. Just insane. Just this insane. Oh, there's Eddie Bauer. Oh, yeah. 50 bucks for the name. Good old Eddie. He came up with something good. Check this out. It's like some people would consider this kind of strange a bear with top and no pants what the hell this is not good people this is not good you got perverted bears you know you got bears with no clothes here this is not good bears with no clothes this is a nice rig look at this guys this truck with all that stuff that's hardcore here we go we're walking down we're walking down in Teton Toys. This looks like an adult toy store. Adult toy? No, children's toys. Well, that tells you what I was thinking firsthand. All right, guys, here we go. Pedo Bear, that's it. This is the main town. Here's the park. We're gonna cruise over yeah, here. Right here's, all here. The, here's all the tourists spending all their money on shit they don't need, right? Oh, here's a drummer over here. There's the cowboy bar over here. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm gonna give you a little tour. Probably never, some people will never get to Jackson Hole, so you can live it through me. You can live your hole through my hole. Yeah. That's what's going on here. Okay, there we go. There we go, the guys I was just talking to they got a uh, well I was gonna throw down to that guy but knowing me I left my wallet Just help 
me. Those are the two cops I just talked to. That's funny. That was Chelsea and Jason Figueroa. They were in that car. So we'll see. We'll see what's going down with Jason and Chelsea. Yeah, Shelly, let's go. Joe Black. No, not me. Carmine, caught on video. Innocent. Bobby R, cop dog, lion. Thank you. HPR, you retracted. It must have been negative about me. Lori Conejo. Yeah, dude. It does, Conejo. This, you know, dude, I lived up in Aspen and Snowmass. Well, I lived in Snowmass. I worked in Aspen. I, 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 I'm used to these kind of resort towns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get the cemetery. Yeah, well, I'm going to walk through here first. And then... Uh, I think I might go to... Uh, well, I'm not going to say where I'm going, but I, I told you enough. But yeah, it's going to be fun times. Don't run us over, folks. They almost ran us over. That wouldn't have been good. Later, Bruce. Caught on video. Any pet owls? No, no, no pet owls. Caught on video. I'm on live on Jackson Hole camera feed on YouTube, huh? Where? Where are the cameras here? I don't see any up here. I don't see any here. Let's go down here, guys. Let's go down here and see all the people wasting their money. Here's a family of meth addicts. Oh no, what am I talking about? That was my cousins. Sorry. They look, they look familiar. Okay. Got, got, we still got people here wearing masks and uh, walking the streets here. Wearing masks. Yep, wearing masks here. In this kind of weather, wearing masks, guys. All right, so there's the park. I'm gonna go down and come up. Oh, here we go. What is this? Jewelry? Are they gonna go crazy if I start filming in here, guys? Watch, we'll find out. We'll find out. Whoa! Sorry. Sorry. Who's walking who there? That's a nice dog. What is that? Thank you. It's a newfie. A newfie? Yeah. Can I come up to it? Yes. Yes, a newfie. How much do you charge if I bought a sal a, a saddle to put on it so I could ride it? Huh? My God, what a beautiful dog. Thank you. Oh He's my very goodness. sweet. He's just a giant puppy. Dog. Oh, you're a puppy. He's just a puppy. Aren't He's you just sweet? a big idiot. Yeah, a big idiot. Well, that sounds like uh, somebody I was married to 10 years ago. Yeah, me too. About you, 20. Uh, 20? Okay, <laughs> we're on the same wavelength. Exactly. You have a great day. Me too. Thanks Thank for you. taking the time. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. nice. Newfoundland. This is very nice. So, this chick in here doesn't like me filming already. She went behind here, watch. She just went behind the counter there. Let's see if she's calling the cops. She just, I didn't put her on camera. I, I scope everything out before I do anything. So I caught her not liking me. I didn't put the camera directly on her. She's, she's, she went to the back to run. So she's, she's gonna do something. We'll hang here a few minutes, guys. Yeah, let's just hang for a few minutes. It's a very nice store. It's called... Uh, what is it? A Fouch of Class? What the hell is the name of it? Oh, A Touch of Class. It's called A Touch of Class. I guess right now, uh, staffed by an ass. You know, what can I say? She's running behind there. She doesn't want to be filmed. So I want to see her now. See her there? 
She's going to run again. Yeah, dude, Conejo, I'm down. I told you I'd hit it with you. Just give me time. All right. She's annoyed, but she can't do anything about it. That's just the way it goes. A touch of class and the staff member is very unsettling there. See, they got Saworski over there. They got Saworski up there. Oh, she's on the phone now calling. There's a short individual that doesn't even come up to the counter with a cat with a camera. Is this allowable? I mean, can we keep him out just because he's short and he's annoying? What do I do? I have no I have no clue. Okay. What do I do? I'll bend down lower here. I'll bend down behind there and pop up. Okay, let me take my notes. Call police, call my mom, call my dad, and call God. Yep, yep. Oh, and they have that here. They have that heart here. They have the heart here, but yet she's freaking out. Yep. Oh, well. As my uncle used to tell me, everything's Mickey Mouse. That's it. Thank you. Oh, it's starting to snow a little, guys. A lot of dress shops, you know. Here you go. A lot of, a lot of shit you don't need because that's what you do. That's what we do. Oh, check this out. Tacos Padrinos. Yeah, it's just, it's just the suction of life of spend money on shit you don't need. Tacos Los Padrinos. What is this place? Mexican food, but the fuck? Oh, they're putting a new place in here. They're putting in new tacos. They're putting in a new taco place here, guys. Fuck it. Take the alley. People don't like people walking in alleys, so let's take an alley. That's what I'm talking about. So... I got a cast iron grill. I'm gonna go up to the campground after this and uh, cook up some chicken and a salad, some coffee. And then uh, partake, not in libations, in religion. I'm having a congregation of Mormons meet me and uh, I've gone from being a Jew to a Mormon, only for a couple hours, and I'm going back to being a Jew. I just want to get the feel of being a Mormon. Right again. KGB, you want the cops to get me, huh? Sheila G. Okay, Kaneha. There you go, Conejo. That's uh, a chance I took. I never do that. Only because I've never met you. So nobody else asked me that, please. You're always in here. I know others are, and you live by me, so. That's the way it is. Hey, Mazanga. All right, there's the Wart Hotel right there. And Azadi fine rugs. Yeah, you find uh, Middle Eastern, uh, uh, Persian people everywhere. Uh, all good people, and they all have rug places. Well, I shouldn't say they're all good. Not not everybody's good. I mean, I'm not good. Certain people aren't good, but yeah, fine rugs. I'm deep into the Persian cuisine. You know, the food. I love Persian food. Not real hip on the people, though. No, that's a bad joke. Love the people, love the food. I love all people. Well, I wouldn't say love, but I love the food of all nationalities. And then I pick and choose. Right? Isn't that what we all do? We all pick and choose. All right. 
I'm going to pick my nose and get out of here, guys. You used to work there, Six Estate, at the Ward Hotel? How long ago? I'll go in there and ask them if they know you. Do they know you? Yeah, Steak Fries, good to see you. Do they know you at the Ward? If they know you, I'll go in and say that, you know, how long ago? I'll tell them that you're still looking to get your last paycheck. See what they say. You got to tell me, man, because if I'm going to waste my time, you work at the Ward Hotel. All right. Six Estate. The 80s, huh? Would they know you now? No way. What kind of name would I use there that somebody would know? No, nobody's gonna know you from Jack, bro. All right, I tried, brother. I tried. Let me go back down here. I'll always give people a shout out if they work somewhere. Maybe I go in there and say, hey, that I'm here to collect your blast check. And they'll throw me out. They'll throw me out, guys. They will throw me out. All right, we're gonna cruise down here. I hope you guys are getting some satisfaction out of just taking a, a walk. A lot of people don't even talk. You know, they do these, uh, what are the ASMRs or what? They do these walks. All right, we're, we're, we're going to cruise down here. We're going to cruise down here. And then we're gonna cruise right here. Man, it smells good. I gotta get, I gotta get cooking, man. I got some vittles. I got some vittles. This looks like hot dogs. <coughs> looks like this is the place to get the chow. Do they have a to-go menu? No, here it is. I could take it with me. I guess they don't. 11 breakfast burrito, 12, 12, 12. This is everything they got. Right on, right on. Here's what you get, guys. Looks pretty tasty. We'll come back. Because I'm not eating today. Pretty nice. How's the chow? Pretty good? Yeah, I enjoyed it. Nice, um, nice. I had, I had it off the menu. I, I, oh, did you? They did, they sometimes have some stuff that's not on the menu, so it's worth asking. Okay, what'd you get? Uh, today I got the Philly cheesesteak. Very good. It looks big, 14 bucks, right? Pretty big size. Yeah, yeah. So. probably bigger than me. <laughs> See you, man. Yeah. All right, that looked pretty good. All right, guys. So Sunday's not a lot open, you know? But what can I say? I didn't plan it. I just came, I drove back down from the campground to come into Jackson because I had to hit the, uh, you know, the police. So that's where we're at. Not much else, guys. I appreciate you guys helping me, uh, supporting me with the donos. Just even if you don't, with the, the love you show me, the thumbs up, the subscribes. Just share my videos. Tell people to come to my channel. Every Everything helps, man. Just fighting YouTube. There's no rhyme or reason what they do to different channels. They just, it's a, a whim. Pick, pick one. Today I want to do this to this channel, tomorrow another one. No consistency. No consi it is beautiful, Innocent. And here, I'm parked right up here in front of this Antler Inn with my car that this motherfucking kid did road rage on. And it's funny, man. It is funny. But you know, everything ends up the way it should be. You can't get stressed out of shit. It's just... It's just the way life is. Everybody, don't stress. Just stay healthy. That's number one. We all need a certain amount to live on of money, but it's not the fixation of life. But we all get caught up in it. Easy to do, especially when you come here and say, Jesus Christ, let me work hard so I can buy a $2 million home. Good luck doing that, people. It can happen. Come up with a brilliant idea, but... Unless you're a, a professional in some sort making six figures, it's still tough. It is still tough to do.
All right, guys, let's get a shot of this place. Because it's, here it is. We're talking some old timers here at this hotel. 60 years this place has been here. And there she is. I don't know her name, but she looks very, uh, very nice. And here she is. What's this? This is an old, uh, what is that? An Eldorado? What do you guys think that is? What do you think that is, guys? So these guys, this hotel's making money because they're dialed in with the tourists, with the bus companies and everything. And there it is, guys. The Antler Motel vacancy, Jackson Hole, Wyoming. All right, guys. Once again, thanks everybody for being with me. I gotta go eat something. Look for me in the next few days. Be doing another live. Be doing another live. Sushi. The 7-Eleven on the corner. No shit. What corner? What corner? Nice. Yep, Conejo, been doing it a while. Thanks, Mazanga. Yeah, well, somebody just said they got sushi at a 7-Eleven. He says it's good, but how good can that be? I think you're putting me on a Hummer. There's no 7-Eleven at the corner, bro. All right, guys. Much love to everybody. Adios. Everybody stay good. I'm going to stay out of the snow. Late, everybody.